Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making Tuma and Ricotta, which are two Sicilian dairy products that are extremely important in Sicilian cuisine. They are considered dairy products, not cheeses. And of course, I will link the recipes I end up using Tuma and Ricotta for. These are the ingredients needed to make Tuma and Ricotta. It's just sheep's milk and rennet, and then some additional equipment like a candy thermometer, some cheesecloth, and a big pot. So the first step is to put 10 cups of milk in the pot, which is about five eighths of the total milk. I've clipped the candy thermometer to the pot and now I'm heating the milk over medium heat until it reaches 97 degrees. Now that the milk is 97 degrees, I'm adding half a teaspoon of rennet. And then I also took it off the heat and letting it sit for 30 minutes until the curds rise to the top. So now that the milk has coagulated, I'm breaking it up with a spoon. So I put together this contraption to drain the tuma. It has the cheesecloth on top, a strainer, and then a bowl. And now that the tuma is broken up, I'm removing it with a slotted spoon and then draining it in the cheesecloth. Now that I've put all of the tuma in the strainer to drain, I put it back over the pot and I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator for three to four hours to drain all of the liquid. So now after a few hours, the tuma has fully drained and it's got kind of this weird texture because that's just how it like landed in the bowl. It's more firm than it looks and I'm hoping in the future I'll be able to get some cheese molds so that I can make it a more smooth, uniform texture and of like just this weird blob and i'm taking the tuma out to put in a container so now i'm combining the remaining six cups of sheep's milk with the drained whey and heating over medium heat until it reaches 172 degrees fahrenheit the mixture has reached about 172 degrees fahrenheit and i turned off the heat i also realized it started scorching a little and i needed to mix it but the recipe didn't say anything about that so i'm really glad i noticed also using a thicker pot should help with scorching unfortunately i don't have one that's big enough for this so there are a decent amount of of ricotta curds forming but they aren't really floating to the top and a lot of it isn't curdling so i'm gonna try heating it to a higher temperature but it looks like the higher temperature is starting to work there's definitely some curds rising to the top and now i'm pulling the ricotta out with a slotted spoon to drain. The ricotta is definitely a little burned, but I'm hoping since it's not too bad, it'll just maybe add like a nice smoky or baked type flavor. And now I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to drain for three to four hours. Now that the ricotta has fully drained, I'm putting it in a container. Thank you for joining me on this journey to make tuma and ricotta. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.